Wow, you guys, Jet Lawrence, the younger of the famous Aussie siblings, continues to be 10 and 0 in his rookie season with the 450 class. But it was his older brother, Hunter, who has made the headlines after the race. We also saw the return of Justin Cooper as he had been injured after a crash prior practice and race where he had crushed his chest and lungs. In a press interview, Justin had stated that he's still banged up, but he would much rather be here at Redbud and not miss out. The leaderboard for motocross has been shaken up in the 250 class at round five Redbud this weekend. Shockingly, to the surprise of the hosts, who kept mentioning the ongoing joke of how Hunter does better and appears to wake up during the second moto during race days, Hunter himself put everyone who doubted him all for a loop, winning Moto 1 Saturday. Honda HRC's top rider, though, was tangled up in a crash during the beginning of the second moto's first run and turn and was taken out for observation by crew and cart to the Alpine Stars mobile medical unit um, to be evaluated. Hunter took a bit to get up off the track, which worried fans and spectators. It was clear he was definitely in pain. Even when he was swept away in the cart, he rested his head on the shoulder of a crew member, looking pretty upset that it may be all over. On air, Jason Thomas was able to get word from team manager Lars Lindstrom, who explained Hunter was banged up and took a really big hit to his arm, which startled him, but he is already wearing off the shock. He has had some issues with his ribs preseason and may have aggravated one, but no serious injuries occurred. Thank God that's a relief and good news. I don't know about you, but to me, the way he was holding his arm and his hand when he was being helped up, it looked as if he might have thought he had snapped his wrist or something like that. Now, all these actions led to Deacon grabbing a whole shot advantage and taking on the mission to the checkered flag. According to Hunter's Instagram and social media account, he will be racing out Southwick. Now, this is not a track you really want to race injured or even be nursing a recovery at all. So I really do hope he is okay. He wrote, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. See you all at Southwick with a winking emoji. Number 96 will be heading to New England with the red plate, but his lead is now cut to just 11 points over Hayden Deegan. Now, Lawrence had entered the Red Bud National with 175 points. Rookie Hayden Danger Boy Deegan, he had entered with 147 points, and he went on in the event to win the overall. Some say this is much to worry for his championship run as Deegan has shown much eager riding and quick learning skills from this season with the pros. I will say it doesn't seem like the flaggers and track assistant um, assistants is at all up to par this season as it was crap the year before too. This needs to change for the safety of these riders. Anyways, happy to hear he plans to continue and not miss a beat. Can't we see how he ends up in Western Massachusetts terrain? Will you be rooting for the Aussie next weekend in Massachusetts? Or will you be chanting USA for Danger Boy? Who do you think will take the win up north? Tell me in the comments down below. I'm Linda, and that's for the record, Your Honor.